Kitchen. This is our Passover episode. We're sitting here on Eastern Parkway, the land of my people. Many a time have they walked up and down this very street discussing the Torah and Moses and controlling the media. We're here with Stupid. Woo! Stupid. They're going to be helping us crush matzah and rock it out with us. And we're going to be making matzah ball soup and coconut, coconut cream, cream, cream pie, pie with the matzah mm, crust. Yay. So, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen, and this is our Passover episode. We may look like we're posing for the cover of Seventeen magazine, but actually we're leaning because that's uh, we're leaning to the left. We're leaning to the left because it's Passover. Of course, <laughs> that's what our people do on Passover because um, to be comfortable—it's really uncomfortable, actually. I'm not feeling very comfortable right now. I know that's the dichotomy: is that we're leaning to the left to be comfortable, like the rich people, because we weren't allowed to when we were slaves and yet we're not very comfortable. And because this is a punk show, so it is left in some way. Isn't it supposed to be? Right, we politically lean to the left. Right, we have well, to, I suppose anyway. that you can um, make that stretch. I, but in I'm any case, now. you wanna, well, should we stand, should we? Yeah, I'm, ugh, this isn't good for my <gasps> Actually, it seems really difficult to lean. Um, yeah, so it's the Passover episode. Woo! Passover! And this is Terry's first Passover. Maybe we should call right. the episode Terry's first it Passover. It is, and I wore, I'm wearing my Passover outfit. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. The traditional The, the traditional, stocking right. That our people walked across the desert in. And the leopard, because there are leopards in the desert. Exactly. Right. There's, As we all know, yeah. that was one of the plagues. That was the unsung plague. Of the desert the leopards. leopards? Yes. So... We're making matzo ball soup, of course. What else are we going to make? With Passover. Stock. We're going to make a homemade vegetable stock, and we're going to make homemade matzo balls. Of course. So here is, we're going to start with the stock. All right. Here's the veggies that go into the stock. All right, so what we got here is some carrots, which you can kind of feel. Okay. And we have our leeks. Mmm, leeks. We have some parsley, some dill. Got ourselves an onion. Ooh, and the parsnips. Some parsnips. It's that funky carrot looking thing. Yeah. Heat up a little bit of olive oil. Don't put too else. much. I kind of put too much, but you don't want the stock to be greasy. You chop everything very roughly for the stock. You don't have to do anything fancy schmancy. I'm not a real woman. I don't nod my head. I'll patiently wait for your favors in bed. I don't wear less panties and waste away prices or bondage and scanties and masochist dances. I'm not a real woman. Don't waggle my head. So flap on my armpits or shackle my lips And I'm not a lemon So please don't squeeze my bits I'm not a real woman I'm not what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna saute these onions for a little bit Just to bring out some more of the flavor, you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? I, I like flavor Yeah This has been going for about five minutes And then we're gonna add eight cups of water Get the heat all the way up Add the rest of our veggies. And then the only other things we have to add to that. Is there uh, garlic in here? Yeah, can you get two cloves ready? Oh, yeah. Not, they don't have to be chopped, just like kind of... Can I smash them again? Smash them. All right, here we go. What? Oh, there were three in here. Terry, will you marry me? Yeah, we're gonna save this for. Sorry, I, I'm, you know, Passover. Wedding. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I wanted to say that if you don't agree with gay marriage, you're a freaking idiot. 
Yeah. Marriage is pretty gay anyway. Yeah, marriage is gay no matter what. I mean, you go what and you... sex the people are. Isn't this the Passover show? Oh yeah, I just thought it was timely and appropriate. Right. That we speak up for our peoples. Well, they're not really our peoples, but in the sense that everybody's our people. And everybody's people. everybody is gay. So gay. Right. Yeah. And except yeah. for people that don't right. believe in gay marriage, those are our people. No, definitely not. Unless they're like just politically opposed to marriage as like a form of slavery, like the Jews were enslaved during Passover. Did I not just tie that all in together? That was beautiful. And I'm going to lean not? to the left. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to get this stuff in the soup. I'm going to shut uh, up. We're going to stop being now. political because we're not very good at it. No. So, oh, by the way. I'm just trying. I'm getting like some dill up in this. You put the mm, garlic in. Love the dill. Yep. Dill's up in it. We're gonna get some parsley in the hen house. That's the flat parsley, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm gonna salt this, this up, but good. And it's cool if you have the water just all the way to the top. I don't know if you read a cookbook, it'll probably tell you not to do that. But you tell them Issa said it was okay. Yeah. Um, They're not the boss of you. Let this boil. And it's going to reduce, it's going to absorb all the flavors of all the delicious veggies. Let's show you some carrots in here. And it's just very satisfying when it's done. And you taste all the complexity, the body of the broth, mm, and you're like, I made this. It's very satisfying. And that's pretty much it for the broth. Ooh, how long does it take? That's going to take an hour and a half. Okay, come back in an hour and a half. You know what it's time for, Terry? Um, balls? Time to make the matzo balls. Woo! The best part of Passover. There's a lot of controversy when it comes to the making of the matzo ball. Um, the fact that we're making them vegan cuts down on our controversy a little bit because some people like the light, fluffy matzo balls, which you need egg whites for, whip the air into them, and then they're like these big, fluffy, cloud like matzo fluffy balls. balls. Yeah, the big fluffy, fluffy balls. balls. Terry just wants to say balls. I, I'm sorry, we're talking about balls. I oh, mean, smut. what's my mother gonna say? Um, why was the shiksa talking about testicles the whole time? Yeah. The kind of matzo balls we're making are the denser kinds. We're gonna be using very simple ingredients, as is the nature of the matzo ball. And we're going to make our own matzo meal. If you have a food processor, use that. If you have a punk rock band in your living room, just give it to them and they'll crush it up for you. Thanks, stupid. Wow, perfect. 
Don't ever let them call you stupid again. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make our tofu. Tofu. Where's the blade? Oh. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. So we've got our... Silken tofu. Silken tofu. Of course. Firm silken tofu. About a quarter cup of olive oil. You can mm. get the exact measurements on the website. But be sure to use liquid. Half cup. Measure. Um, vegetable broth? Yes. Some black pepper we're going to actually just put in here. Uh, you need about a teaspoon. So, that looks good to me. I don't like using fresh pepper for this. Really? The Jews Two. aren't a fresh pepper people. Uh, the Jews are more... Like pe preserved, yeah. pre-ground. That, is, that pre is the pepper of my because people. Because when you're in, in a rush, yeah, you, you don't need have to have it pre grind your right. pepper. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to blend it. Mix it in. So, wow. Just mix it all up. Oh, by the way, on Passover there were ten plagues. And, and I think Terry had a, was going to sing the Metallica song about yeah, it. Yeah, Creeping Death, because it's about plagues and like the Pharaoh and stuff. And I was going to get like really metal and, you know, start singing this song. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that right now because mm -hmm. we're focusing on this. All right, so that's good. Now I'm going to grate some carrot into it. All right, so we're going to grate about half a carrot up in, into that. All right, that's good. Then mix that in. And then what we're going to do is just let this sit in the fridge for about an hour. Now we're going to actually make the matzo balls. We have a piece of parchment paper here so that they don't stick. And here's our chilled matzo dough. How you do it is you get about, I would say it's a walnut sized ball. Get your hands wet. Um, a wet rag is indispensable. Wipe your hands on. I mean, that's just a good thing to have in the kitchen at all times anyway. And you want to make them really tight. So let's talk about those plagues. Plagues! Hmm. So the Egyptians had ten plagues befall them because of how they were treating the Jews. Um, the other ones? Pestilence. Pestilence. Snakes? Locusts in darkness. We forgot those guys. The animals went crazy. Hail. Anyway, lots of bad stuff. So be nice to Jews. Okay, so that made 18 matzo balls for us. So just lower them in. You throw them in there? Yeah, just throw, toss them in. I mean, I could take this and... How about this guy? Lower them in. Yeah, all right. Ooh, it's well, hot. I have this one. Ooh, so. ooh. Okay. Ouch. No, you have to take it now because I just put okay. myself holding it. Yeah, it gets hot hanging up there. Is there oil in there or anything? There's no. Okay. All that's in there is salt and a little bit of dill. Okay. Make sure they're not touching too much. Make sure nothing's on top of something else. And once you cover it, you don't want to uncover it. That's it. That's it. You can check them, but and they're going to boil for about 40 minutes. Will they float? Yeah, they should float to the top eventually, and then they're pretty much almost done. So 40 minutes, these bad boys will be ready. Our, oh, I said bad boys. Nope. Damn it. These, what's another word I can use? Um... Balls? These motherfuckers are going to be ready. <laughs> um, the soup's going to be cooled down, and we can strain it and get the broth out, and then we're ready for our matzo ball soup. So don't go anywhere. So our broth is going pretty well. Um, it's reduced quite a bit, and now I'm going to turn off the heat so that it can cool down and we can strain it. Okay, so cheesecloth you use to to strain your vegetables, make sure you don't get any chunks into the broth. So just take it, fold it in half, so you have two layers. Can I wear that to a goth club? Yeah, you can also, when you're done using it, it's pretty it's traditional ethereal. to wear it. Mm. And you take your broth, make sure that the edges are uh, outside the bowl because you don't want the vegetables to get around. The cheesecloth. Pour it in. Mm. Hey, come then on. you simply take it. 
grab all the edges and squeeze with all your might. Squeeze. Wow. Okay, so now we want to reheat the broth. The matzo balls are going pretty well. They've floated to the top and they'll be done in about five minutes. We're heating the broth up. Um, so you can see it's, it's beautiful broth colored and smells amazing. And I'm going to grate some carrot into it. There's tons of things you could do, like you can make a curried matzo ball soup, herbed matzo ball soup, but this is just straight up plain old matzo ball old soup. School. Hardcore old school. No good, yo. From the streets of Prospect Heights. Um, and then I like to put some dill in. So I just break up little pieces and just a little bit of parsley. Again, just tear it up. So our matzo balls have floated to the top. They look ready. Like I said, don't remove the cover until they're done. So it's good to do it with a clear cover so you can make sure nothing's sticking together or falling apart. All right, so now you want to fish around for your matzo balls. You can see that they plump up a bit. Use a slotted spoon. They get nice and fluffy. I do three matzo balls per person. Give this a test run. Hells yeah. All right. <laughs> wow, look at this. I'm so excited. First ever, guys. Caught on tape. Mmm. We're awesome. Is it everything you thought and yes, more? Yes, yes. Mmm. Wow. I'm having such a good time that I'm almost forgetting that I have to make dessert now. Mm. So I'm gonna make a coconut cream pie with matzo crust. More matzo than you can shake a stick at. Welcome back to the post-punk kitchen. It's time for dessert. Time for dessert. I'm gonna make a coconut cream pie and because this is our Passover special. I'm gonna make a matzah crust made with matzah meal. Um, maybe if it wasn't Passover, you can make your regular pie crust, but we're not gonna talk about that today because this is all about matzahs. So uh, what I have here is a cup of matzah meal that was ground up by our band. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of melted soy margarine. And there's this stuff called, called Earth Balance that I really like a lot because it's healthy for you. But what are you really adding sorry. now? Sugar, two tablespoons. And I'm adding a little bit of coconut, just a tablespoon. I like a little bit of nutmeg. I'm gonna mix that up again. And it's gonna have kind of a crummy consistency. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add soy milk in. This is about four tablespoons of soy milk. So it's a moist crumb. You press it together and it kind of sticks together. Just a Passover, it's, it's about Passover, sticking together, right? Can I assist you? Yes. Allow me to relieve you of this bowl. Thank you. Ah, relief. And then I spread it around. by the way. I just want to applaud you. Thank you. So I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, so well, what temperature? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Stop tape. Stop, Stop everything. Tape. No, what? keep going. What it's temperature? 350. Okay. Is it 350? Okay. Okay, here we go. And you put it in there for 20 minutes. Does the crust smell done? It smells matzo-y again. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, make, it's like refried matzo. It smells really yummy. Yeah, like toasty, delicious-y, coconut-y goodness. 
So I'm going to turn the oven off. I could turn it off afterwards, but <laughs> I might as well do it now. Whoa, it smells great. It's beautiful. And it looks kind of the same. It's but like the supermodel of pie crust. Mmm. I'm going to let that cool off. And we're going to make our filling. Ooh. Of course it contains tofu. I'm going to tofu everything. kick our delicious, sorry, the very smooth, sublime silken tofu helper. One cup of our natural sugar. I've got about like a cup and a half of vanilla soy milk. Any brand will do, whatever you like. You can put the lid down too if you want. I know you like your lid. <laughs> We're getting a little edgy here, coffee time. Um, coconut milk. Mm. Half a okay, she's not letting that lid down. And I'm holding it for you. Okay, thank you very much, That's Isa. More like it. Okay, I appreciate you. <laughs> um, arrowroot mm. is a thickener that uh, results when you you mix it with a cold item, and when you cook mm. it over high heat, it creates a very creamy, thick texture. You can also the use starch. corn starch. The starch. The starch. Helper. Yes. There's some vanilla over there on the counter. Mm. Can you hand me that, please? And for extra vanilla power, a little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. We wanted coconut extract, but... Couldn't find it. Yeah, it's, except they're not making it this time of year. Hey, you ready for that lid? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I knew there was a reason See? why I kept you here. Okay. Wow. This is the annoying part of the dessert. You have to hang out and watch it cook. So I pour it all in here. Right. Bring this to a simmer. I don't really want it to boil very much. Maybe you can bring it to a little bit of a boil, but quickly bring it down. The whole idea is not to burn it. This is going to take a while. This takes probably around 15 minutes, and what will happen? It'll start to get really, really thick. This will be like for the pie montage. <gasps> Go really slow, and then he'll speed it up, and okay. we'll see how it looks. I have never had this much fun whiskey before. He wants me to stop. Cooking. No, that's not what I'm saying. Maybe I'm saying I'm it looks good. good. Okay. And it tasted good. All right. What's next? What's next? What can I possibly do after all this? Well, I'm going to add a coconut. No. Because it's a coconut cream pie. Hello. Hmm. When the heat's off. And about maybe two tablespoons of lemon juice to just to brighten the flavor. Here's our friend, the matzo crust. Oh yeah. Now can I touch this and not burn? I think so. Ow, ow, no? No. no? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. She says that Wait, because you... you're not picking this up. It, does it burn? I said yeah, no. Yeah, it does. I said no. Ow! I said no. No, but I... It's on tape. I... Stop trying to make me feel like Omarosa. I couldn't... I... That's from The Apprentice. Not that I watched The Apprentice. The what? Never mind. Yeah, TV. I never thought we were going to talk about Donald Trump together. You keep saying Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, as usual. Sorry, I have a complex. Now I'm smoothing it out, but I really don't have to because I'm gonna put coconut on top. Oh, by the way, I'm using this organic coconut. Unsweetened. Unsulfured, uns I don't like the flaky, sweetened Betty Crocker stuff. It's bad, 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 bad. There we go. We have to let the pie yeah. chill. And forget about it for at least maybe three or four hours or overnight for So we put our pie away. Excuse me. So I'm gonna make a quick pineapple thing. Oh. Sauce, while Isa's touching her boobs. You know, this is the part where I make the sauce. And I took a can of crushed pineapple and I drained out the juice. And I'm gonna whisk about a tablespoon of arrowroot powder in there. While it's cold, bring it to a simmer and it will thicken. Um, I'm adding sugar, two <laughs> tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna add in about half this pineapple. Here we go. Sauce. That looks delicious. You're gonna put it under the pie? I'm gonna put it, we could put it under the pie, over the pie, around the pie. It smells good. You wanna put a little vanilla in it or something? Hello? What? God damn. She always needs something to do. Okay, fine. Let's see? Maybe... I want to put vanilla in it anyway. Here, just a couple drops of vanilla. Mm. 
This is completely optional, by the way. If you're like, F that. Yeah. I'm not down with your pineapple bizatch, then I'm not going to do it. But if you want to be cool like me, then you put pineapple sauce. Okay. That's it. Yo. <laughs> Look, our pie's set. Mm -mm. It's totally firm and delicious. I mean, tasty. I mean, scrumptious. Helper? Yes. You want me to lay these? Yes. Okay, if you have fresh cherries, use those, but we just happen to have grown some maraschino cherries in our backyard. have our matzo ball soup and coconut cream pie with a matzo crust and some cats that died from pestilence you know one of those plagues that happens it's like jewish compliments <laughs> something yeah. really oh. awful oh. and then something really beautiful at okay. the same time is that a jewish compliment it's like yeah God. it's like what she it's does to like, me um, all the time you lost some weight you're not so fan anymore <laughs> not that i've ever heard that <laughs> all right happy passover Passover. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom. Did somebody just die? Hello. I think I just Mecca said like a high, Mecca high, Mecca high, Oh my god, do I go to, do I Mecca go to, like a high, Mecca do I go to Ricky Ho. Martin concerts and make fun of him? <laughs> Say